So you want to look pro in your setup, be it gaming, streaming, or podcasting, content creation, and you're in the market for a boom arm for your hopefully nice and flashy microphone. And the way I'm going to help you out is with this boom arm by IX Tech. It is the Valiant boom arm. Nice, professional looking boom arm for your gaming, your streaming, your podcasting, your content creation of any sort like this. It is a contemporary studio microphone boom arm. It is in fact pro level studio equipment. And looking at the design there, you see uh, besides the bullet hole wound that my box got right there, features some of your typical mechanics that most boom arm has. And it looks like it has a riser bar as well, since this is the pro version of this mic arm. And that will make it taller. I guess that's for kind of like hanging behind your monitor to go over the top of your monitor and in front of it. I never really kind of liked that kind of setup because, well, you're blocking my view of the monitor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the box and see what we get. Snap. Ow, that hurt my ear. All right. So let's just go ahead and open the box right here in all of our faces aggressively. What? Get your full set of instructions here. You get the how to set up and all of that fantastic fun stuff because, well, you need to know how to set up your boom arm and how to connect it and mount it to your desk. And this is the awesome clamp that comes with this particular boom arm. And looking here on the back of it, looks like there is a mechanism that opens up, provided that I have it the right orientation. There is a mechanism on the back that allows you to mount your headphones for all my gamers out there. How nice, they've included a little Velcro strap. And this is the luxurious arm by IX Tech. Nice and flat profile from the side that way. Pretty cool. And then you have a little bit of thickness and you have yourself a cable channel. You'll channel your mic cables going right into that middle piece. That's a little different from what I'm used to seeing. I'm not sure exactly how that front mount works. Underneath the mic boom arm, you have other pieces. One of these looks like to be the riser mount, just an extender essentially. And this extender most likely is going to go right there to make your boom arm that much taller. So when you mount it, you have a heightened extension here. And this is the mount where you would mount your microphone. Also in the box, we have, this looks like the plates you would use for mounting into a table for our purposes today, we will not be drilling anything. And last but not least, looks like we have the plate that goes onto the side of this boom arm for covering the screw holes. All right, with the full content of the box already shown, let's go ahead and mount it and see what it looks like on this table. And just like that, we are all hooked up with our arm right here. And as you can see, this thing is very pretty. I like this full aesthetic. You see that the microphone for the AM8 is staying horizontal. It is not turning up with the rotation of this pivot with the arm. With the same mechanisms as this particular boom arm, it's on a ball. So you can loosen it and rotate it any direction you would like up and down. It's pretty fantastic. I like that feature because that allows for plenty and plenty of flexibility. That's right. And that's what you want with these arms. You want to be able to just move them about as you like, right? Without having any hindrances, any tightness, without it springing back up, right? This is beautiful in every respect. So, yep. The channel is big enough, like this channel here, for a USB as well as XLR, like the way I have connected here. So you get your RGB and you get your XLR connection to your audio mixer, your audio interface. I do like the looseness of this. Of course, there is a little screw you can screw here, right? If you wanted to tighten this base unit and you didn't want this rotation, but I always like this rotation. So I keep it as is the way this one is going. And essentially this would be the appearance and aesthetic you would have on your channel, more or less, if you prefer your boom arm mounted like this. And I think it looks quite professional to me. I kind of like this setup. I like that the mic is kind of hoisted up higher like this. I like that there is rotational movability here, right? There's a lot of flexibility here. You can always just tighten it up right here and it won't spin on you. If you're interested in this specific boom arm, links are in the description. 
this does make a full pass on a tech toys and gaming show so if you are looking for this kind of aesthetic in your setup then this is definitely and obviously the way to go i like it um i don't i guess i'll keep it as a backup since it's sort of like a duplicate of the other boom arm i have maybe i'll just use five mics in one video at one time what 